calcium oxide. Once you've done that, once you've made calcium oxide and carbon dioxide, it's all great saying let's measure it using scales and a balance. How do you measure a gas? Carbon dioxide is a gas. How do we go about measuring a gas? What can we do? Sorry, I'm not recording you anymore. Oh, no, this is part of my. my this, is, okay. this is part of my YouTube what, vlog. What? Hmm. 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 Then you look at like the pressure or something of it. Not I don't know then. I thought it's like the PSI thing or whatever. Oh, okay, no. That you're thinking about physics, aren't you? I don't know. Yeah? Okay, you're thinking about physics. I'm talking about how can I, if there is a, if a reaction going on and I was producing some gas, how would I weigh it? So Grace said that I could collect that gas. You know, underwater, we can collect that gas and work out the volume of gas. That's one way of doing it. The other way is um, to make sure that we're covering our beta where this is occurring, say with some cotton wool. So I might measure all of the equipment and the carbon, uh, calcium carbonate, cover the top of it with cotton wool so the gas can't escape and then continue weighing. Um, the mass of that equipment. So you, that whole experiment is carried out on um, some scales. I'll show you what I mean by that. Yeah? Like and subscribe.